Hey, what's going on internet? Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. In this video, we will be doing a quick uh, space travel tutorial just like this. All right, so it's pretty simple, but really what I like about this tutorial is that all this is created in After Effects. So there's no stock images to create uh, like a space background or anything like that. And I think the really cool thing about this video is that um, we are going to use uh, turbulent displays to uh, manipulate optical flares and I thought that was really interesting and so yes you will need optical flares to follow along with this tutorial you can download this project file in the description if it will help you I would have made this text uh, 3d but for the sake of the tutorial I want to use you know as least plugins as possible and you know I didn't want to go into cinema 4d or anything like that so uh, I would suggest making this 3d if you can but uh, let's, let's go ahead and just get started I'm gonna go ahead and create a new composition I'll call this one tut main. All right, and the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go up to layer, new, solid. And we're going to go ahead and make this like a, a very like light or for like a dark gray. And we'll call it background. All right, so let's go ahead and create some particles. What I'll do is go ahead and create a new layer. We'll call it particles. And then we'll go to up to effect, simulation, CC particle world. And uh, let's go ahead and let's see. The first thing we'll do is we'll maybe go to like right towards like maybe the middle of this layer. And we will uh, jump the birth rate up to like maybe the 30s. And then we will click the stopwatch for birth rate. Uh, and we will move forward in time just by a little bit and then type in zero. So now the particles come on and they stay. So what we need to do is go to longevity and maybe set this to 30. Um, and then go to the physics and type in zero for gravity and we'll type in zero for velocity. And now all we have to do is go to the uh, producer and we will go ahead and increase the uh, radius X uh, and then the radius Y and then the radius Z. And we'll probably come back to that in a second. So then we'll go up to the uh, particle and we'll make it a faded sphere and we will set these to white. And let's go ahead and set these to uh, birth, the birth rate and death rate to 0.1. All right, so what we need to do now is just really offset these like by bringing this layer out over here and then we can just drag it out. All right, so let me go ahead and create just a little bit more particles and what we can do is uh, go to the uh, birth rate keyframes down here and we can uh, just cycle through the keyframes and we can just increase this by a little bit maybe 60 and now we have a lot more particles to work with and that's awesome and i'll go ahead and increase the z radius by a little bit all right and that looks pretty good so let's go ahead and like create like a nebula or something really cool i don't really know what to call it i'm not sure if it's a nebula but go ahead and create a new layer and we'll just call this uh flare uh, background because we will be using optical flare so what i'll do is go to effect video copilot optical flares and click on options and I have the pro presets but I'm pretty sure any flare would work for you uh, I'm just gonna use the arctic circle uh, in the pro presets pack 2 um, and I'm gonna click OK and you know, just go ahead and maybe put that right there okay there's our flare so let me go to effect distort turbulent displace and right off the start we got some really cool I'm gonna, ahead, I'm gonna go ahead and increase the amount by a little bit and then maybe the size and then I'm going to go ahead and, you know, step up the complexity. And this is where things are going to get a little bit crazy, all the way to 10. And boom. So that looks pretty cool, man. Like, I was just playing around with this. And it looks really like, it almost looks like, you know, like a nebula, you know, in the darkness of space. And I don't know. I, I thought it was, looks really cool instead of having to go to, you know, pulling off a Google image or something like that. And now we can animate this if we want to. Um, and the one thing I'm going to do is go ahead and animate, you know, like maybe the evolution of this. So I'm going to go ahead and click the stopwatch for evolution and maybe move to the end of our comp. And I'm just going to go ahead and set that by a little bit. And that should add just a little bit of movement. I don't think I want too much. And that probably is a little too much for me. So maybe I'll do like 20 or something like that. And that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll increase the brightness on this just by a little bit. Oh, that's a little too much. I'll just type 150. Cool. And then that stands out just by a little bit. All right. So now that our particles are done, let's go ahead and create a new camera by going up to layer, new camera. And that's okay. And let me swap up here to camera one. All right. And let's go to the beginning of our timeline. 
and let's open up the properties here go transform and for position let's click the stopwatch add a keyframe and let's move forward uh, I don't know maybe you know a second and a half and let's go to the um, camera tools up here and let's go get the track Z camera tool and let's just move forward in time a little bit and or let's track forward a little bit and now we've created uh, a little bit of an animation so let's go ahead and create like a placeholder or nebula for our text so let's go ahead and create a new solid we'll call this one fractal uh, nebula and then let's go up to effect noise where is noise noise where are you noise and grain sorry and fractal noise and then let's go ahead and boost up the uh, contrast by a little bit maybe bring down the brightness by a touch and then let's uh, set this to um, the basic to dynamic progressive all right and then let's go to uh, let's see let's turn on invert and then uh, let's go to the transform properties. Uh, let's really scale this thing up. Maybe a little bit more. And I'm just putting 900. Okay. And then let's go to turbulent uh, offset turbulence. And I'm just really just going to customize these because, you know, I like to customize stuff. And then uh, play with the evolution. I did uh, jump up the complexity to 7.7. .7. And then uh, let's go ahead and open up the evolution options. And I'm just going to just put a random seed in there. All right. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the blending mode and uh, set it to screen. Okay. And that looks okay. And then I need to go to uh, set this to a 3D layer. So we'll see where it's at. And then we'll hit P on our keyboard. And then we really have to just figure out where this is at. And you might have, there it is. So. You, all the way in the positive value for the Z position. And we'll just bring this to like right here. That's really where we want it to be. And then let's go ahead and go to the pen tool and let's just create like a jagged mask. It doesn't have nothing you know specific or anything like that. Just creating something that's gonna look random. All right, so there we have a mask and let's go to the feather and let's just feather, feather this thing up. All right, and then let's set the blend mode for the entire layer to add. All right, there is that. And then let's go ahead and go to the uh, you know color correction curves and set some color to uh, this layer. Uh, maybe I'll bring down the brightness by a little bit. Um, and then let's go to like the uh, red channel. You know what? Maybe I'll bring this down by a little bit and maybe add more of a curve. Cool. And then let's go to the red channel. Uh, let's just bring this up by a little bit. Let's go to the green channel. Let's create like an S curve for it. Yeah, it's not really a good S curve. There we go. And let's go to the blue channel and, and let's just bring that up just like that. All right. And then let's go back to the position and let me just tweak what we have this. And maybe I'll bring down the feather by a little bit. And maybe I will bring it back up. Okay, so the next thing we need to do, um, let's go ahead and maybe create some detail into this space. So what we'll do is I'll create a new uh, solid. We'll call this uh, just flare. Let me flare one. Or maybe, you know what, I'll call it star one. And then, yes, we are going to go to optical flares. Um, and then we're going to cl click on options. Clear this out. We'll just go to uh, lens objects, create a glow. And that's pretty much all we're going to do. So that'd be okay. And then let's set this to, I don't know, add. Let's see what screen looks like real fast. And you know what? I like add. And let's go ahead and put this like right here. And then let's lower the brightness to maybe like 50. And then let's change the color to like, I don't know. Don't really have preferences to so like uh, red. And then we need to change the source type to uh, 3D. And then now we have to uh, go to the Z position crank this up by a little bit so now as we fly through this uh, star or whatever you want to call it will be uh, right there and then uh, let me move the position X over just by a little bit and then let's go ahead and duplicate uh, this layer and let's change the color of it to to a yellow and let's uh, position this like over here maybe bring down the brightness to maybe 20 and now we have 
he's coming in. And of course, you guys can go ahead and create more, but for the sake of the tutorial, I'm not gonna create a thousand of these things. But of course, the more you have, the more detail it has, and the better this thing can look. Oh, and there's one thing I realized here that I don't know what happened to this layer, but make sure this is dragged all the way across. I don't know what happened there. That was a mistake on my part. But anyway, let's go ahead and add our text. So we'll go to the text tool. Uh, we'll click right in the center, and you can type in anything you want. So I, you know, I'll probably just type in, I'll type into the Cosmos. And you know, maybe I'll change this font to uh, one of my favorite fonts, Lotto. Uh, maybe let's not make it. No, let's go ahead and then let's center this. Let's bring down the size and center it again. All right, and let's make this a 3D layer and go to the position. And of course, let's try to figure out where the text is at. We want to go right there. And then for the sake of time and stuff, I like to use a lot of animation presets in tutorials. So what I'll do is go to animation presets, uh, click on text, and then let's go to uh, blurs. And let's see, we want this to come on about like right here. I would like it to come up right here. And then let's go ahead and use maybe like, I don't know, evaporate. Let's put that on our text. Let's hit U on our keyboard to bring up the keyframes. Let's drag this endpoint in, this endpoint in just by a little bit. Select both keyframes. Right click, keyframe assistance, key, uh, time reverse keyframes. So now this will come on just like that. And then let's go ahead and maybe move this forward in time just by a little bit. All right, so our problem is, is this nebula is too bright. So I'll go back to the fractal nebula and yeah, I'll go to the RGB. And then let's go ahead and also go to um, layer, layer styles, uh, drop shadow. And then let's go ahead and maybe crank that up just by, let's see, let's increase the distance. And that will just help separate it. Um, of course, you know, I would personally suggest doing 3D text instead of using 2D text. Um, but I'm not going to go into doing, like I said, I'm not going to go into doing more stuff like that in this tutorial. But anyway, this is looking pretty good. Let's go ahead and like maybe finish this up by finishing out the animation. So you on my keyboard for the uh, camera property. So what happens is that this entire animation just comes to a stop right here. And that's not really what I want to do. Uh, actually, I wouldn't mind uh, bringing this back just by a little bit because it's a little bit too close. And then let's go to like, I don't know, uh, three and a half seconds. And let's have it zoom in just by a little bit. So it'll zoom in fast and then it'll slow down. And then now what we want to do is uh, go to like, it doesn't really matter. I'll do four seconds, four and a half seconds. So I'll go to the uh, track Z camera tool. And let's just really bring, let's really go right through this nebula. And then I'll just leave it at that. Of course, you guys can move around with this. You can, uh, you know, go up and down. You can rotate. It's really cool. It's really flexible what you can do. So let's go ahead and open this up with some style. So what we'll do is create a new layer and we'll call this opening flare. And we'll go to effect, video copilot, optical flares. And I'm just gonna pull it out a preset because I absolutely love the presets. And let's see, since it takes time to load up for me since I'm recording. Uh, let's see, maybe we'll, yeah, we'll do the wasteland flare. I like that one a lot. And uh, let's go ahead and set this to maybe like a 3D point. And then uh, let's go ahead and put it on, uh, set it to screen. Actually, you know what, set it to add. I think add looks good in this tutorial. Okay, and then let's Go ahead and go to the uh, brightness and let's move that up just by a little bit. Cool. And then let's uh, click the stopwatch for brightness. Hit U on our keyboard. Let's move. Uh, let's see that keyframe there. Yes. And let's go to like 10 seconds. And let's set it to uh, zero. And let's make that F9. So we have an easy as keyframe. And we fly right through that. So it's pretty interesting. And then let's go ahead and duplicate this layer uh, and let's bring this to the end, which is gonna be right over here. And let's select these keyframes. 
go here. Let's uh, right click time keyframe, keyframe assistance, time reverse keyframes. And now let's go ahead and move the uh, Z position way ahead so we see where this is gonna take place at. All right, and we might wanna, there we go. So now we will fall right into this flare and let's really just increase the brightness on this. And that will be like our opening close. So, okay, so I wanna create uh, a quick little neat element, uh, which is basically, I don't really know what it was. I just really liked it. Um, I guess we can call it a lightning storm in space. And no, I'm not referring to Star Trek, but um, anyway, let's go ahead and create that. So let's go ahead and uh, create a new layer. We'll call this one, uh, yeah, let's call it flare. Move it and moving flare, whatever's backwards. And let's go to effect optical flares. And let's just set this to uh, clear all. And then let's just set it to glow. Click OK. And then let's set it to a uh, 3D source. And then uh, let's set this to like add. And then let's figure out where this thing is at, which is right there. Cool. And let me just put this over here. Let's go like maybe four more time. Okay, this is really where we want to have it. So that's fine. All right, so now that's set. Let's go to Effect, Distort, Turbulent, Displace. And, uh, you know, let's go ahead and set up the amount to, you know, 280. And where's the flare? All right, there's our flare. Let's set it to like 280. All right, and let's move forward here a little bit so I can see. Boom. And let's go ahead and just raise up the amount. That was interesting. Hmm. That's okay, that's fine. And then let's uh, lower the size by a little bit. And then uh, let's offset it just by a little bit. And then let's increase the com complexity all the way down to 10. And now we have this and uh, that should be pretty good. So I thought that was just really interesting um, just to have that, it's really cool. So for our last thing we need to do is enable motion blur. So let's go ahead and enable motion blur for our text, our fractal nebula and our particles. So let's go ahead and enable motion blur and we'll turn it on for the text, the uh, nebula and also the uh, particles. And then enable motion blur at the top right here. And this is what we have uh, created And it looks pretty good. Um, and really, there's a lot of basic concepts in this tutorial for you guys to go ahead and create your own thing. Um, so if you have any questions, please drop down a comment below. And if you have any requests for a tutorial, please let me know as well. And if this video has helped you, please drop a like. It helps me out tremendously. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing for more awesome tutorials just like this. So guys, thank you so much for watching. And uh, please check out my social media links in the description. And guys, hopefully I will see you soon.